What's up guys, Max here over at RC Window Films. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, this meter. So this is the Glass Check Elite. This tells you the different glass thickness. So the thickness of glass and the way that it's viewed, so from the outside looking in, right? So I'm on the outside and I'm looking at this glass. This would be considered surface one. So this particular surface would be surface one. Inside of this surface, so right here on this edge, right on the interior portion where the air is, that would be considered surface two. And then on the interior portion, so this is the inside of the house, I'm on the outside, but the inside of the house, this would be surface three. So this side right here, which is actually facing me, and then the one facing the interior portion would be considered surface four. So now what it's doing is it's sending this little laser and it's testing this glass. Now, if you notice, it told us that there is right there, what it's telling us is that this is a dual pane unit and it's got eighth inch by eighth inch by a half inch air gap. What that means to us is it means that, okay, we now identified that each panel is uh, eighth inch thick. We've got a half inch air gap. Now, a lot of manufacturers have what's called a film to glass sheet. Now, what a film to glass sheet is, is, hey, these are the films that are compatible with these types of glass units. And not all glass is the same. One thing that I wanna show you is I wanna show you the different types of glass that are out there, and this is not all of them. So here's what we got. <clears throat> We've got clear glass unit, and then this one is a soft coat. So this is a single soft coat. And when I'm looking at both of these units, I can tell that one of them has a slight purple iridescence. Now that one is gonna be this one in my hand here. So if I shine it just right at the light, you'll see a slight purple iridescence to this glass unit, and that's on this side. And what that is, is that's the coating on, let's see if I can get it in the camera. See that slight purple? All right, now what that is, is that's the low E coating on this side of the surface, and this is clear, and it's got no coating at all on either side. So this is considered a soft coat low E. Then you have what's called a double soft coat. So this is, two layers, you can see that slight purple right there. This is two layers of a soft coating that's on the interior portion. Now this one has a slightly different look to it and it'll be really evident there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you side by side. I can locate that low E coating. Now here's what's really interesting about this one. This one has a slight green to it over here and this one has a slight purple you're looking at that glass. Now, this is called a triple silver unit. One of the things about these triple silver units is that they're actually, they reject a ton of heat. So solar heat gain coefficient. It usually, what that stands for is essentially the difference, if it says 0.22, it means that it's rejecting the difference of that. So let's say 0 0.20, that would be, uh, it's rejecting about 80% of the total solar energy, right? So it lets in only about 20% of the energy into the home. However, triple silver windows are causing a ton of damage when it comes to vinyl siding, patio furniture, pool covers, etc. When it comes to applying film on these types of windows, having a glass check elite is super, super important. So if this glass unit has a solar heat gain coefficient of roughly 0 0.20, would it be in our best interest to apply a film that has less solar heat gain uh, co or more solar heat gain coefficient, so less uh, performance? Of course not. So if we come to your house and we identify that you have a triple silver low E, it doesn't help us to say, yeah, this this uh, our film's gonna totally reject a ton more heat. It won't. It's not gonna add any sort of performance to your glass. In fact, I would say, hey, we can certainly cut down the amount of glare. We can certainly add some decorative and give you some added privacy. But as far as adding overall performance to your home, not going to happen. Now, if you had, if your home was built pre-2004 and you have a clear glass unit, absolutely, we can make a massive difference in your home by applying the right film to reject a ton of heat. Now we can either have them be clear, those are high absorption films uh, or infrared films that reject a ton of energy but also maintain the clarity of the glass or we can do a silver or a dual reflective window film which gives you added privacy. There's several different options that you can choose from depending on your lighting requirements uh, and your privacy requirements. So identifying the type of glass, absolutely crucial. This unit is 
a game changer when it comes to the window film industry. And then on top of that, it's also able to identify whether you have a laminate or not. Now, you can cause premature failure of glass if you install a high absorption film and you have a laminated unit. That's the reason why it's important to identify whether your glass is laminated or not. Another reason too is the prep work required for window film application requires a lot of times that you, we scrape the glass with blades. Now, laminated glass a lot of times is very soft. So if we use a blade, we can damage that glass pretty easily. So those are some of the things that are super important uh, and highlight the performance and uh, the identification capability of this Glass Check Elite and the different types of glass um, that are important to identify first before making a recommendation as to which film is gonna be right for your needs. So that's just a small little highlight on the Glass Check Elite, the importance of it, how it identifies glass, what it gives you, and the different types of films you can install once you identify the type of glass that you have. Thanks for checking in and we'll catch you on the next one.